What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another discussion video and this time I'm doing one for my anime fans. Yes, I'll say it again for my anime fans. This video is basically five action figures that I feel like you should have in your collection if you are an anime fan. And when I say anime fan, we're talking more specifically shonen anime. You know the popular ones, the ones that we all grew up watching, and some of them we're still watching right now. Now for my comic book fans, I do greatly appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. If it's not for you, that's perfectly fine. Feel free Free to drop a like as I would greatly appreciate it and stay tuned for other videos that I have coming but again this is going to be the top five anime action figures you should have in your collection if you are a fan of shonen anime I'm gonna be trying to do some different stuff so um hopefully this is a video that you guys resonate with and enjoy anyway let's stop wasting time subscribe to the channel if you're new here or if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get right into it starting off with number five Coming in at number five is one that honestly I was thinking about leaving off of the list, but I felt like I wouldn't have heard the end of it if I didn't show a lot of people's favorite protagonists. Now, in my opinion, this is the weakest out of all of them. Not in terms of physical strength. Relax. He can't beat Goku, though, people. We don't need that energy right now. I'm talking about just in terms of the action figures I'm going to showcase. Here we have an SH Figuarts Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku and an SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Super Super Hero Goku. Now, I feel like right now, the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku is the one that most people would be getting their hands on and using as their definitive Goku. Goku, but I decided to go ahead and show my favorite also, which is the CGI Goku or Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Honestly, I enjoy both of these figures. I just like the CGI version a tad bit more. I've had a ton more fun with it just because of all the crazy expressions and the more exaggerated expressions you get with him versus the kind of dry accessories and expressions you get with the Saiyan Raised on Earth version. They're essentially the same body. Just just to repaint not that much different but I just had to go ahead and add a Goku in this video because again he's a lot of people's favorite protagonist and some say that he is the founding father of shonen anime uh, that's up to you if you see it that way but yeah number five is none other than Goku get yourself a Goku action figure both of these are relatively cheap and again I've had fun with both of them Coming in at number four is one that probably could have been ranked higher if I was a fan of the series. Now, again, I've said it many times, I never really sat down and watched Bleach in its entirety. I just had a bit of it sprinkled throughout my childhood, but that doesn't take away from me knowing how great of an anime is. Ichigo Kurosaki is a character who's going to be stapled in anime history, whether you like it or not, and that alone is reason enough to buy this figure. He's a really great protagonist and the series that he comes from is very interesting and fun to watch. Now based on how little of this character I've been seeing on my timeline, I feel like this figure isn't one that is recognized enough. I feel like a lot of people passed on this and I know most people want the earlier versions versus the thousand year blood war arc. I don't know why Tamashii Nation started with these but at the end of the day it's still a figure of Ichigo Kurosaki and they've shown us that if we support all of their action figures we're going to get what we want at some given point. So this is yet another one I recommend adding to your collection. Bleach's Ichigo Kurosaki. Now coming in at number three is one that I wasn't going to put in this video because of the fact that he's technically considered a new gen anime character who hasn't exactly made the most history in anime, but he's making it. And so is the anime itself because... Jujutsu Kaisen is absolutely on fire right now. I'm talking anime and manga. And it even won anime of the year last year for a reason. Gege Akutami is writing and drawing with a pin of fire. And I'm telling you guys, Jujutsu Kaisen is only going to continue taking off. Season 2 has just kicked off with the Shibuya arc. And man... 
You guys are not about to stop hearing about it in the next couple of weeks. And so I expect a lot of people who skipped out on this to double back and pick up this figure. Now I got Gojo in the background just because he's Gojo. He's the freaking goat. So I had to throw him in here. But more specifically, we're talking about Yuji Itadori. This anime is just absolute fire and it is well on its way to becoming my favorite anime of all time. You guys know how much I love Naruto, but Jujutsu Kaisen is there, man. It is rivaling it hardcore and Gege Akatami is not letting up. If you haven't watched it yet, go check out the anime and go get yourself this figure because Tanmashi Nations did a stellar job with this release and everyone that came after it also. Just throwing that out there. Now being completely honest here, is number two really one that I even have to spend time explaining? One Piece is absolutely on top of the world right now. The manga's taking off, Luffy just used gear 5 in the anime which already put crunchy roll under a panic attack when people couldn't watch the episode and then the live action which is being critiqued as the best anime live action adaptation of all time there go three reasons right there why you need this figure monkey d luffy has been around for 20 plus years at this point and One Piece doesn't appear to be letting up anytime soon. Ichiro Oda is doing his thing, man. And this story, despite whether you've been keeping up with it or not, has lasted this long for a reason. One Piece has a very loyal fan base and these figures are selling like hotcakes. I know because I wasn't able to pre-order Yamato, I wasn't able to pre-order Kaido, and I'm expecting not to be able to pre-order Law. So it's getting difficult out here for One Piece fans, but either way, man, this is a figure you gotta get right now. He's roughly 40 bucks and he's already released domestically. So you're not gonna spend a whole lot getting this guy. Now more than likely he's going to be a build a figure, meaning all future releases are going to come with some kind of accessory for him, which that's more than enough reason for you to continue collecting this line in the first place. So yeah, Monkey D. Luffy, go get this figure. Now last but certainly not least is the GOAT himself now if goku was a part of your childhood it's only safe to assume that so was naruto uzumaki the number one hyperactive knucklehead ninja this is one that i had to show two versions of also because it really just depends on which version stuck with you the most if you decide to pick one of these up and you don't want to get both of them for me I love every bit of Naruto. It is engraved into my being. I have Naruto tattoos. I have a Naruto everything. <laughs> I have something Naruto everything. Plushies, uh, pillowcases, you name it, posters. <laughs> All of those started with a P. But yeah, everything, man. I have everything in naruto form in some way shape or fashion and so when it comes to action figures being an action figure collector it's obvious that i'm going to pick up every single naruto figure there is and when i talk about action figures i cannot go without speaking on naruto because this has been one of the best revived lines that tamashi nations has done so far man the articulation that they have implemented into these figures the accessories that have been added just overall engineering this line is just outstanding and future releases are looking to be the exact same we've got obito on the way we've got orochimaru on the way kurama linked naruto on the way i just bought two more of those yesterday so this line is proving to be next up. I hope that it lasts as long as the Dragon Ball line. And there are endless options in terms of characters they're going to make. Now, again, this is one you've got to have. Even if you don't plan on collecting the rest of them, it's Naruto freaking Uzumaki. Why would you not get it? And these figures are only 30 bucks, just like Luffy, just like Goku. So... Go get your hands on at least one of these if you haven't already. It will look beautiful on your shelf. 
So for this video, like I said earlier, I did decide I wanted to do something different and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to switch it up and try new content as much as possible, just seeing what works for my channel and what doesn't work. But I think people like videos like this because it's a recommendation for action figures you should add to your collection. All of us being collectors here, why wouldn't we not enjoy it? Now, I'm thinking about doing different companies. I stuck with SH Figure Arts for this video, but um, I might do a Figma. I might do a Mofex. I'm thinking about doing one of these for my comic book fans, but really my comic book videos don't get a whole lot of views, mostly because you guys know that I'm an anime guy. So most of you here are here for anime purposes. You're not here to see me review Batman, Spider-Man, Nightwing, things like that, Marvel and DC more specifically but uh yeah i do want to continue dropping these kinds of videos so if you guys have something else that you want to see feel free to let me know in the comment section below i am up for all kinds of options i'm just trying different things and i'm enjoying it while i'm doing it so while i'm enjoying it i might as well keep going but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.